Hello. So basically, um, I wanted to start YouTube channel for a long time, but I've just never done it because there's always been like things in the way, or like as in me thinking I'm going to be embarrassing when really like that's going to be there your whole life. There's going to be things to stop you doing everything. So I may do that. Anyway, but I will see that. Oh, my um, I'm allowed to say that. Probably not. Um, anyway, so, so yeah, I've decided to change the course of action for this video and for it just to be a sort of day in the life because I'm not to ruin anything for anyone but this is definitely not going to be a day in the life or a get ready with me because I don't even know what I'm doing in this video but just enjoy it. I was, I was going to get ready with me but I'm not getting ready to go anywhere so it's technically just my skincare and I have like a lot to do today, sort of. Um, it is one o'clock but yeah. I thought this chair is really creaky. If you hear it creak, just ignore it. And then all that. We're ignoring that as well. I have tried to get the best background I can, but like if I turn it more that way, you can see like my ring light and it just doesn't look good. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm also using my iPad. My iPad? My iPad to film. So, you know, the lighting and stuff and the quality is gonna be affected, but. I'm going to put my hair back with these wee pins. These are actually lifesavers. I love these so much, these wee guys. Um, I just think they're so cute. They're not like the most efficient, but they're like, they're pretty helpful to just keep your hair out of your face. There's going to be so many cuts in this video, but it's also just because like, I don't know how to do this. Um, but I used this on my, to wash my face. You can tell it's a bit wet. But it's like the body shop calming cleanser. I always thought aloe, like aloe vera, was pretty bad for my skin when I used it. But I was using that the past couple of days and my skin looks like clear. Like, there's obviously that. And my dog scratched me there, if you can see that. But I actually change my skincare up all the time. It does never stay the same. But I'm going to use this wee simple age resistant cream. I actually have really, like, wrinkly skin, like, my head and stuff. And it gets really wrinkly. So... I'm trying to like watch it, but that's why I bought that because I was like, oh well, maybe I can change it up a wee bit. My holy grail. This stuff is so good. Like this literally is my favourite shit ever. Like I hate when those wee bits bits dry in when you don't have like because there's no caps that go on this it's so good like i was like my shadow was for like eczema and stuff eczema i got what the eczema <laughs> you got eczema um but no it's just for all over compulsion like put it on my lips as well because it makes them soft especially like in the winter because you know who do I think I am? In the winter. But, yeah. I'm trying not to tan as well, so that's why I look really pale right now. But, so, I'm raising my eyebrows. But, don't lie. No one lie. This is what yours looks like, too. I don't know how people keep such a clean little brush. Like, you're using it in your eyebrows all the time. And then, I don't know how many this went so dark. Because I don't use product in it first. Like, I don't use, like, eyebrow product and then put this in it. So, I don't really know. But, anyway. Got to be. Love it. I actually think it's, like, deteriorating my eyebrows, to be honest. And a lot of people said that that happens to them, like. Who you calling a lesbian? Stop using bad words. Excuse my language. But I literally just, like, put it through first, right? Like, that eyebrow looks darker, but I think it's just because of, yeah, the light in that I'm in, but. How about makeup? Literally all I'm doing is mascara, bronzer, blush. Um, I don't know what this blush is, but it's like... 
I don't even, I couldn't even tell anyone where I got that. But it's like the best blush ever. You'll see once I put it on. And then, um, <clears throat> the Body Shop Coconut Bronze. There's like a wee thing over it, but I never used that. So I used this sweet brush by Real Techniques. Oh, this isn't the one I use. Two settings. Acquired the right one. I don't know. Yeah, they're different colours because I like this one better. This is Coco Dark. And I think the other one is like a lighter tone or like a more, a less warm tone. Um, acting like I don't know what I'm talking about. But, oh, it's just so good. Like, I've never had a bronzer that's worked this well. You might not be able to see I can't really see that right now in the lighting that I'm in. But I'm going to just wing it and go for it and just pretend that that's doing something. A bit of my nose. Now you're gonna use this blush. I'll show you what I mean by when I say it's really good if I can find my blush brush. Who to decide? It, girls I don't know what this is a pound brush as well like never think you have to go expensive just to her makeup see look and this lasts all day literally all day it's so good and I don't even know where I got it to get another one when it dies when it dies you know what I mean when I use it all it's so good, I love it, I get so pretty, but I'll just never be able to get another one. I think it might have been Poundland, it might have been, but in my like younger days, and I just like never used it until like three months ago, and I was like, silly, of which, you don't understand the amount of hula bronzers and um, blushes from like NYX or NYX, whatever you say it like, and stuff I've gone through and not liked to use a cheap one, do you know what I mean? On the topic of that, Misery Revolution Big Lash. This is also one of the best mascaras I've used. You can wear makeup and it doesn't rub off, you know, you get that awkward wee like bit of mascara up here, like down here, like when it's you start getting a bit sweaty and your makeup starts getting a bit sicky. This doesn't do that. Spit and on your normal skin. It's great. I think it's waterproof, potentially. Don't know, but not realise how long it takes to edit a YouTube video on so I've just went and tried to do it. It's also just really confusing. But the next thing I need to do is clean that. All that. So we got all those clothes away. Oh, I got all those clothes away. Um, the only issue is like that. But like everything else is like clean. That drawer specifically. Or shelf. Um, but everything seems to be fine. Um, that's really it. That was all I had to say. Um, I just wanted to film a wee first video to kind of break the water. Lighting is also just terrible right now because it's night time. I did start like recording when it was like the middle of the day and it took me so long to put all the clothes away and stuff. So um yeah. That was my first wee YouTube video. Um hope I didn't make you cringe too much, but bye. <laughs>